Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed, and as you can see today, we're gonna to be talking crab legs. I've got about 10 pounds of these snow crab legs, and I'm gonna show you how I do them barbecue style out on the smoker. Let's get to it. So the first thing we're gonna do is put together what I call my barbecue butter. I'm starting with a pound of melted butter, adding just a touch of dry crab bowl seasoning, and then some of my Killer Hogs de-barbecue rub. Also adding a little bit of dried parsley. I'm gonna mix that up real good and then squeeze in some fresh lemon juice and it's ready to go. So I've got a barbecue butter all combined and I'm gonna pour it in just a small pan. What we're gonna do next is kind of dredge these crab legs through this barbecue butter, get them ready to go on the pit. And all I'm gonna do is just take a cluster at a time and just kind of flip it over in the butter. I just want a good coat. You wanna move your pan close because it's gonna be messy. But we just have to do all these legs and it doesn't take long. We're gonna keep basting them as they smoke out on the smoker. But we're getting that good barbecue, little crab bowl flavor, that lemon juice and butter. It's gonna make them rich, it's gonna make them delicious. You'll never boil or steam them after you eat them this way. I'm telling you, these are delicious. Now to smoke these crab legs, I'm firing up my old Hickory MM today. I'm using a good Royal Oak charcoal. I'm gonna put just a chunk of cherry wood on it once these coals come up to temperature. I'm starting them with a couple wax cubes and I just let the coals ash over before I add the wood. This is gonna bring that cooker up nice and slow and the smoke's gonna be rolling through it when we get ready to put the crab legs on. As always, you can cook this recipe on any grill or smoker. You just wanna hold it steady. I've got it dialed in at 250 degrees today and it's gonna be perfect to smoke these crab legs. Now it takes my old hickory about 30 minutes to come up to temp. I've got it dialed in right at 250. This is when the crab legs are going on. I'm just lining them up right on the grate. There's no right or wrong way to put them on. Just fill that rack up. Then we're gonna get the door closed and just let them smoke. All right, it's been 10 minutes of cooking and I wanna open up the cooker and baste these crabs with that leftover butter mixture. This is just gonna reinforce that flavor I promise you it's gonna make them good. After the crab legs have smoked for 20 minutes, we're gonna repeat that same butter basting and then all they need is 10 more minutes and you're gonna be ready to dive into them. Just get some more butter on the outside, get the cooker closed and get ready. In about 10 minutes, we're gonna get them off. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. It's time to see what we're working with today. Y'all check these crab legs out. They are looking fantastic. That butter's got it smelling real good. And I'm gonna get one off real quick just to make sure that leg's just right. The meat comes right out of the shell. Hey, it's time to get these off. They are done. Let's put them on this platter. Now, this is what I call a platter of smoked crab legs. I'm taking them inside. All right, the great thing about these snow crab legs is they're ready to eat as soon as you take them off the smoker. There's no waiting for it to rest and all that. You want them piping hot. Before I dig into one, let's talk about what we did and how easy it was. I picked up some frozen, fully cooked crab legs from the seafood department at my local grocery store. We brought them home, let them thaw out in the refrigerator overnight. The next day, we melted some butter, added a little bit of barbecue rub, a little bit of crab bowl seasoning, some parsley, some lemon juice. We dipped those crab legs in that butter mixture. We got them out on that 250 degree pit basted them every 10 minutes with that butter mixture, and it only took a half hour to get these crab legs ready to eat. They absorbed a little of that smoke flavor. We had a little cherry wood on there, but really we're just heating them up in a smoked environment, and they're ready to go. Now you wanna serve these with some cocktail sauce, some drawn butter, and some lemon slices, and that's all you need. It's gonna take your surf and turf game to a whole new level, throwing a steak on the grill, and put some crab legs on the smoker. These right here got my name on it. Look at these monster legs. Let's break into one and see what that meat's working with. Oh, it's got some snap to it. See if I can ease a piece out. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to get one more, because you know, I know what I'm eating. I don't know what everybody else is eating today, but I got a platter full of crab legs. They break, they come out so easy. Take it and get a little bit of butter in it. A little bit of that cocktail sauce. <laughs> oh. That right there is probably one of the best things you can ever eat. Perfectly smoked crab leg. Get a little bit of that cherry smoke. You pick up that grilled taste, 
brings them back. It's real delicate. That meat releases right from the legs. I'll have to have another one. Absolutely fantastic. Easiest way to cook crab legs, put that crab pot up. You don't have to worry about steaming them or boiling them. You can do it right on your smoker, 30 minutes. It's that easy. Hey, thanks for checking us out today on how to barbecue right. If you want to know when we're putting out new videos, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and we'll send you an email when we're putting out new stuff. You can also send those comments, give us some feedback at Facebook, Twitter. We love that. We'll see you next time.